If you want to jump high in kata, watch this video. So there are four things that you shouldn't do if you want to jump high. So let's start with the first one. The first one is how you get your knee up. A bad example is you go like this. You get your heel close to your hips. This way, your body is going to fall forward and you're not going to be able to jump high. Um, so avoid using your muscle from the knee down and make sure you use your whole leg to jump, just like a frog. Second point is you're moving to the front and back or um, to the sideways too much. Let's take an example of Heian Godan, which I did a tutorial on, I think two or three days ago. From here, um, the, the goal here is to go from here to up here. So if you're moving forward this much, or if you're moving to the side, it's not good. Make sure, imagine there's a one, there's one pole going straight up and you're going onto this pole. So jump straight up. Next point, you don't want to just rely on the leg muscle. So this is different from you jumping up in the same place, like this. There's a momentum going. In a katab heangodan, you thrust forward first. In MP, you move, you move back first. Make sure you're able to use this momentum going sideways to go up. The last point not to do is your body is all over the place while you're up in the air. Let's take an example of heangodan again. If you don't have your um, body just squished like a circle, it's going to look like this. See, everything is falling apart, right? Um, you have to make sure everything gets tucked in to the center while you're jumping up. So that was it for the video today. If you'd like to learn what you should be doing for you to jump up high, then please make sure you tune in to my group lesson, which I hold every Sunday, and make sure you check it out there. If you're seeing this video after the group lesson was live, uh, don't worry, I have recorded the group lesson for you guys to see. So please um, sign up to the community, and I'll have the link ready for you guys. So that was it for the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and check out other Kata tutorial videos. See you in the next one.